Hi, I'm James Pathoulis and I'm a medical student at the University of Minnesota. Today I'm going to be talking about facial and body hair in trans men. This study was done during my research here with Dr. Marianne Senna uh, at Mass General in Boston. So transgender people can experience gender dysphoria, which is a discrepancy between a person's outward physical characteristics and their gender identity. It is associated with negative mental health outcomes. Treatments that align a person's appearance and identity can improve their mental health. In dermatology, studies on gender affirming laser hair removal dominate the literature, and there's been little research about hair enhancement and gender identity in transgender men. We aim to address this knowledge gap by creating an online survey to characterize the role of facial and body hair among trans men and trans masculine identifying men. We used a previously developed scale to assess facial and body hair density. The survey was completed by over 400 trans men, almost all of whom were on testosterone therapy. Most felt that facial hair is, an imp is important to gender identity, self-image, critical to a successful gender transition, and most wanted to have enough hair for shaving. Despite being on testosterone, 35% reported using Rogaine for beard enhancement. Other reported treatments included hair supplements and microneedling. Participants desired an average 64% increase in their facial hair density, which was statistically significant. Most also felt that body hair was an important part of self-image and sexual expression. We asked whether body uh, hair growth on certain areas was important to gender identity. Most participants felt that hair on the legs, chest, and arms was important. Fewer felt that genital, perianal, or back hair was important to identity. Most trans men report body and facial hair are important to their gender identity, and most trans men want more facial and body hair. Future studies are needed to expand facial and body hair enhancing treatments for trans men. I want to acknowledge all the fabulous people at Mass General who taught me so much during my research here, uh, which, with special thanks to Dr. Marianne Senna, uh, my PI, who's been a longtime advocate for LGBT research. Thank you for listening.